I get the question, how long should my YouTube videos be? My answer is yes. What do I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the answer is, in a 2023 world, the best video length is seven second shorts and 35 second YouTube shorts and 60 second YouTube shorts. Three minute clips are doing great on YouTube. Five minute and 30 second short YouTube videos are doing pretty well. You cross over eight minutes, you can do multiple ad spots. Those do great as well. There is definitely a sweet spot between 12 to 16 to 18 minutes because it's a little bit longer and YouTube loves average view duration at a higher number. So that works great well. What I'm also seeing though is that 30 minute deeper dive tutorials and education. My friend Lewis Howes and Evan Carmichael are finding some of their best performing videos are two and three hour or even four hour YouTube videos. So the unfortunate answer is what is the best length for YouTube videos? Absolutely. That is exactly how long, yeah, like you should. <laughs> and what you originally said, they should be as long as they need to be, but as short as possible. That just simply means you need to honor the format and the length. An hour of boring garbage content is not gonna be helpful, but an hour of a rich tutorial that makes a promise and leads you from point A to point B to point C to point D, it's gonna eventually, if it's good, YouTube will serve that up to people who want an hour's worth of content explaining a particular thing. I have multiple multi-million viewed videos that are 45 minutes and an hour and 20 minutes of me going live, and they, they're getting two, three, four million views over a couple of years. And one of the reasons why is I'm finding the average view duration on those is 12, 14, 16 minutes. Average view duration. So as YouTube keeps showing more people these videos, I'm holding attention for 16 minutes on average, which is like three, four, five X, the average view duration of the average video on YouTube. So even though it's, a, it's kind of a niche category in education, it speaks to the fact that there's a massive opportunity with long form content right now. But there's also a massive opportunity with YouTube Shorts, which is the shortest form of content right now on YouTube and everything in between. <laughs> so it's a frustrating answer, but the, true, the truth is you gotta just develop the skill set of thinking about mastering. And I would, I would argue embracing all of these content formats is relevant in a 2023 world. Meaning I'm particularly don't love long podcasts. Maybe if I'm running, maybe if I'm kind of stretching or something, I engage with a lot of people's shows and their clips. So when you go, you do the hour version, great. But the, the, the 10 minute, eight minute and five minute clip with the headline that I'm interested in, that lets me know what the topic is, what the thing is. That's, that's one of the ways I love to engage. Some people also love shorts and they're in the shorts feed. So you're gonna be the most savvy and sharp and sophisticated creator in a 2023 world when you find a way to communicate your one core message and surrounding messages that are all on brand in a YouTube shorts, in a clips, in a, low, in a short, medium, and long form content format, and even an ultra long content format, all of the above work. And it's a fascinating world to be in with YouTube right now when it comes to the ideal video length.